poly remove is very self-explanatory and straightforward. It will allow you to make a selection first and then cut out a particular area. So in this sense, it's a little bit different than the cutoff tool. And um, I'll use a circular draw mode. I'm going to turn wireframe off for the moment. I'll check ignore back faces. And as you can see, cut off, cut all the way through. And that's not what I want. So let's undo that. A way to get around that is to set your depth limit so that it doesn't cut all the way through. It will only go a certain length. But Poly Remove allows you to just quickly select a specific area you want to cut and apply it. So let's go ahead and switch now to Poly Remove. And once more, we can hit our E key and select something like the ellipse or a circle draw mode. And it's just going to make a selection. Now we can decide what to do with the selection. We can cut the area out exactly. But before I do that, I want to zoom in and we will examine the mesh. You have an option here called Remesh Cut Area. So I'm going to click that. It will tell you in the tooltip that it's better to turn off Cut Area exactly. So watch what happens when I hit Apply. If I had a problem area of my mesh, this might be a good tool to utilize, as well as some of the other reconstruction tools. I'll go ahead and undo and switch back to cut area exactly. And I'll turn wireframe off. We have an option to expand the selection or contract it and then hit modify once we choose the mode. But in this instance, I will leave it as it is and just hit apply. Also, if you make a selection, you can hit clear selection here or control D, which is a universal deselection keyboard combination in 3D coat. So let's go ahead and hit apply now. And it's pretty straightforward. It's a very clean cut. And it did it just to the selected area. So that's a very quick look at using the Poly Remove tool in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.